in 1996, we had a genuine non-man-made crop circle pictogram occur near Laguna Beach. Two weeks after I emigrated here, and this was the first summer that I could not get to Wiltshire, the first non-man-made crop circle formation to appear in the Western Hemisphere occurred in Laguna Canyon. It consisted of nine concentric circles. That was one glyph, five, and two, with 14 spokes radiating off. Each one had a small circle terminating, that terminated the end of it. It did not look like a classic English crop circle, but I think we should think of it as one. Why? Because when the energy hit this embankment, which was seeded with many species of native and non-native plants and weeds, it selected only two species and bent them 90 degrees without a, even a crease. And they were both English plants. Almost like to say, think of this as a typical crop circle, even if it doesn't look like one. It looks like petroglyph art to us. And we thought, mm, maybe it's representing something important, something sacred to do with the indigenous culture, the Native Americans that once lived in this region. So we took this formation, the design of it, and showed it to um, a local Chumash elder. And he instantly recognized it in his sacred people's art. Again, too much to say, too little time to say it all in, but if you go to the articles page on our website, you'll find an article all about it. We measured it, sampled it. We sent plant samples to Dr. Levengood, who under the microscope once again verified that the bent plants we sent him, which were fresh, we sent him within a day fresh plants with still the roots intact and a big clump of earth around them. But under the microscope, they looked like they'd been rapidly internally heated as if in a microwave oven. This is an example of one of the English plantain plants bent 90 degrees without a crease or a break inside what was otherwise a formation delineated by bare earth. As if the energy had arrested the growth of certain plants and selectively bent a different species, another species. In the 1960s, they found this out, exposing plants in uh, chambers and, and putting different plant species together and pulsing different notes, different frequencies, different music. Some species would bend while others remain standing. Some species would die and even look like they were burned, while others would thrive. Some would bend away from the sound source, some would bend towards it. Here's a control sample of English plantain. 99% of the plants bent in the Laguna Canyon crop circle formation were English plantain. They have a natural bend. And this is something you have to look for in a genuine, um, to ascertain authenticity of a genuine crop circle formation. You must make sure you know whether or not there is a natural bend as well, because I've seen people misidentify the natural bend of wheat, for example, and call it this true 90 degree bending. But in the case of the English plantain, you had the natural bend, but you also had another bend of 90 degrees in addition to it. There were six stems of wild oats. This was the second species. So this energy went into an embankment randomly. Um, there were many, many plant species that were randomly dispersed, and it just selected two species. And here were three of the six stems bending in different manners, 90 degrees here, higher up, 45 and 90. Here is the big ugly toll road that they were building through the last remaining heart of wilderness of Laguna Canyon, and they were also cutting a swath through sacred Native American sites, including a solstice cave. When we measured the spokes, of the third glyph of the Laguna Canyon formation, we found that three of them fell on solstice positions. And it even resembled a Native American, local Native American sacred symbol used by the shamans to represent the, um, it was used during the solstice ceremonies and it was a sun compass and it was exactly the same. It had radial lines coming off from a circle. Anyway, 
here's the embankment. Here's where this statement was made. There was a big local protest to the building of this. Several thousand people protested to the building of it. It had no effect. They steamrolled their way through it anyway. And then the formation appeared. The same thing has happened in England. We've built motorways through ancient sacred sites. And in 95, we had non-man-made crop circle formations appearing close by, like signs that perhaps we are doing something very wrong here. This little blue area is water. It even had its local water source. Um, and this is a marshy area. And the security guards that were patrolling this 24 hours a day were getting freaked out at the time by balls of light that they were seeing flying around the uh, canyon late at night. They told us this when we interviewed them. 